So hello everybody and this is uh, World Hangs with Chicken Ticker. So I am showing you my garage again and it changed uh, quite a lot from my previous garage account video. So uh, I'm gonna just show you what I think about various tank lines I've grinded and hopefully give you a good idea of what line you should grind. So you can see I have a Chinese light tank here. This tank is um pretty good money maker and yeah it's pretty good but I, st I don't have it on a hundred percent um... commander six sense skill which is kinda annoying and I have a E25 this is an absolute bargain to get get it it's such a good tank um... I cannot emphasize this enough I got plenty of videos on my channel just to show you how overpowered this thing is T54 again I said this is so overpowered as well it is one of the most OP tanks in game and yeah, it's just OP all around. You can check out the review there as well. Object uh, 140, a very, very good tank. And um, I'm enjoying it. It's pretty good. And by the way, you can check out the equipments I have on it when I show you the tanks. IS-6. Now, what, what do I think about the IS-6? Now, from time to time, I think this is a bad tank. Now... For what reason do I think is bad is when I see E75s and I I just have to go and kill him because either it's just me defending the flank and he's attacking so therefore I'm the only one that's possibly able to defend and also I can't get away uh, because this thing is not the fastest tank ever and the only thing is I uh, the only thing I can do is hopefully I can do damage before I die and that sort of situation the IS6 sucks so yeah. Um, do I recommend this tank? I do, because it is simply fantastic when you go against tier 7 and tier 6s. Uh, and remember, it gets preferential matchmaking, so I do recommend you this tank over the T-34, over the um, Lava. This is just derp, and you know, you can tank a lot in this tank, and you can learn the way of the Russians, you know, using the side armor. So yeah, that was a pretty good tank, and I do recommend it. You can check out my review videos in there, i got plenty of them. Um, now going to the SU-100Y. Now, I don't drive this tank often. It is a formidable opponent to face against, but it's not that good. Now, let me just show you why. It is too big, too... Uh, easily penned by any tank so yeah that's the cons of this tank but if you can get into a game where you can just dish out the damage so easily then yeah this is a tank uh, if you wanna play but then right now I'm not in the mode of playing TDs I, I feel more medium style because medium style you can really punish your opponents because it's such an all-rounder now the SU-122-44 it is a pretty decent tank I certainly think it's better than SU-100 wide tier 4 tier the SU-122-44 does annoy me from time to time because there's so many games I've lost because this gun does not perform like it should do the velocity of the gun, the accuracy, the aim time and the darkness where you can't even pen the side of a lava and it goes absorbed you know that that sort of things happen from time to time and if sub decided to troll you then yeah you get a crap game but normally it's a pretty decent tank and yeah it's overpowered as hell so yeah this tank is recommended as well uh, let's just go over this this is crap so yeah one to one as quickly baby mentioned it's got one of the best armor on the front and side and etc for a medium in any tier so yeah this is pretty awesome only if you can work with the gun depression. The gun depression, don't know, in my book feels worse than WZ120, although on stats wise it's the same. Um, I can see how people perform well in this, but I still haven't got my ace tanker. Sooner or later I'll get it, but I don't play this tank often, so yeah, that's why. So, AMX 1390, this is a pretty good tank, but recently I haven't played this tank for various reasons because. Uh, the gun has a crappy penetration and I don't want to fire APCR so that's one of the reasons and BDR and I'll make a BDR video soon the BDR is flipping bad is bad it is a bad tank but the first game I've played in there got top gun and ace tanker so yeah I do think this is worse than B1 tier for tier um, because the gun just so horrible. It does hit if it hits the target, it's good, but the thing is, most of the time it doesn't, and you're gonna spend time aiming. 
Panda 1C, really good fun tank as you know, but I don't drive it often. I drive it when Platoon Mate requests tier 3, but I still probably don't, I, I barely play this. Played probably like 40 games in like a year, so yeah, that's pretty bad. VK, again, I got a review on this. This is a pretty decent tank. I do like it more than Tiger 2. Now, before all of you go angry, let me just explain to you why I like it more than Tiger 2. Now, this tank has a um, pretty bad gun compared to the Tiger 2, but then it has better DPM by, I think, a bit. So, let's compare the guns. So, yeah, they're both 105 centimeter, 105 millimeter guns. Now, the Tiger 2's gun is m more accurate, but it's got longer aiming time and um, more pen, of course, and the same damage. And the rate of fire on the VK gun feels better. So, as long as I'm going against tier 7, tier 6, and some tier 8s, I'm fine driving this tank, to be honest. And the speed really kills this tank for me, although it's not slow, but the speed of the reload is slow and combined with the uh, ability to to not maneuver around like you can do in the VK I, I don't like it as much as the VK 4502P but it's not a bad tank by any means it's still a good tank but then in comparison to this I like the, I like the VK better Waffen Trigger Panda 4 one of the most overpowered tanks um, in the game but um, Compared to the Borsig, it's not overpowered because it's harder to play in almost every respect. Uh, the gun on the on this tank performs so well. Uh, <laughs> you can see I got coded optics and binos, so yeah, I'm a pretty damn person to want to have the first spot on the enemy, and it's quite important on this tank as well. And I feel like sometimes coded optics is important, sometimes binos is important, so I decided to take them both. Now you can take something else, I, I don't know, you could take gun lane drive, but I don't think the aim time is bad, so yeah, I decided to take them too because I got spare ones of them lying around. Yak Tiger, a pretty beasty monster, but it's too slow, so I would l rather play the Waffen Trigger House Panda 4 since the mobility doesn't kind of get boring. Talk 2, uh, I think it's an awful tank, but um, it can be fun if you play in platoons. But uh, most of the time it doesn't work because you ju you just get shot at from all directions and the sense of the tank is so long, someone can shoot you on the, on the back and just pin you there and you can't return fire. So yeah, I don't really like it. Um, T2 light tank, really really fun tank, but the matchmaker is kind of making it pretty bad because you can see tier 4s in this tank. And with a tier 2 gun, the same on the T1 Cunningham, it's pretty bad. And um, now we have the Walker Bulldog. Walker Bulldog, fantastic little tank. I prefer the 76 drum uh, cannon because reasons. Um, I probably need to try out the Top Gun a bit more, but since I've sold it by mistake, I do like the drum more because you don't have to stay around for so long to put a few shots into the enemy, and it's so satisfying to do that. T14, one of the most overpowered tank tier for tier as well, if you know how to use the armor and bully the enemy. I got 11 kills in this, so yeah, it is one of the most fun tanks I've ever played. Um, one of my best stats tank as well, but I don't like playing it a lot because I do not I do not want to kill my stats on that tank yet. Uh, the KV2 is a monster. It is super strong, super good, um, if it hits the target, if it pens. But um, I do like this tank, so I'm never going to sell it. And IS-7 is a strong bear, but I don't play it often because my, I just can't be bothered to transfer my crew from the IS-6 to the IS-7. That's pretty much the only reason I don't play it as much as the Object 140. Uh, so let's talk about the tech trees I've grinded. So you can see in my Chinese line I went for the meat, uh, light tank and the heavy tank line. I have to say the heavy tank line is an absolute joy to play from the 110, WZ1124 and maybe the 113. They're flipping really good. They're one of the best tanks tier for tier as well if you know how to play it properly. Um, one, The WZ131 left me the best memories of all time for a light tank. It is really really good. I don't like the 5916, uh, 16, I think it's a piece of crap. Um, WZ132 is awesome. 
as well, but no, I don't think it's better than 131 tier for tier, uh, and that's why I didn't keep it. So, 120, this is a real monster, but check out the grind you gotta go for it. And remember, they're like 59,000 research points, 59,000 XP, <laughs> and then 23.5 thousand XP. So, yeah, the guns are very expensive. So, where do you wanna get it? You gotta get from the 1110 to the WZ120, 111, then grind your light tanks. That would be easier. Um, certainly the heavy tank line if you grind it is going to ease your pain throughout this whole line so yeah I do re recommend you to play the heavy line first uh, French line I've stopped at the ARL is this so bloody boring and yeah uh, the reason I decided to stop is because I knew that the Fosh 155 was going to get nerfed like patch 8.5 or something so yeah I decided to stop grinding it although I free xp it all the way there so that was a waste of money um, I free XP them too and got to the B1. The B1 is the monster. The first game I got in there was Ace Tanker. The first game I got in the BDR was Ace Tanker, but I still think the Ace Tanker is pretty bad after three games of it. I, I skipped all of them three. I uh, my first account was actually I think Russian account, and my Russian account I had to grind them and they were awful. One of the most awful tanks you gotta ever grind, especially the MX40 when you see KV1Ss at the time. So yeah, I decided to, on the EU, I gotta skip it. ELC MX, pretty awesome tank. 12D is, um, at first I didn't know how to play the autoloader because this was my first autoloader tank. Then the 1375 was um, pretty decent. And the 1390 is so much better than all of them. So yeah, uh, ELC could be, uh, uh, ELC is pretty fun as well. So yeah, the French light tanks, I would choose ELC MX 1390 for the best pick. I stopped at that thing because, you know, I don't like playing artillery that much. Germans, I do like the Germans a lot. I've stopped at the the Luge because I I didn't see much point grinding it back in the day because the line stopped at the VK two eight oh one and now the RU appears. So yeah, there's a reason for me to grind it nowadays. But I don't know. I, I might need to try it again sometime. Uh, but I'm not in a hurry. I stopped at the VK3000 2D is a pretty bad tank in comparison to the 3000 1D. The 1D is awesome. Um, you can check out my videos on that. PZ3-4 is uh, pretty good, but again, I'm not gonna. It's not the best tank ever as well. Uh, this tank was a piece of shit. This tank was a piece of shit. VK3000 3601H was pretty bad in my opinion I didn't like it at, at all because it's slow and it's got it doesn't have the most monsters you know armor in the world and you get set on fire frontally so I didn't like that but I like the VK 3001P strangely enough although everyone thinks the VK 3006 3601H is better and Tiger this is one of the most awesome tanks I have ever played my top XP was actually achieved on the Tiger 1. You can check out that game. I got plenty of Tiger 1 games in there. It's a fantastic game. I stopped on the VK 3002M here. It's pretty shit I think. Um, but apparently the Panzer is good so I I'll get there one day when there's a discount. I stopped on the GW Panzer because I, I just don't like artillery and I think artillery is a scumbag type of tank so I don't want to annoy anyone else so I decided to not play it. Now let's go talk about this heavy tank, the Tiger 2. I'm still grinding it almost on the E25. I, I bet you I like the rest of them. So yeah, um, VK there. I don't know about them. I might not even try to grind them too because Mouse, oh, it's just famous for his size, but it's not really that good in terms of play. And I doubt I play that often when you when people lob sh shitload of uh, heat rounds at you. So yeah, I don't think I might. I don't think I put Mouse on priority grind. So yeah, the T German TD line is awesome. The Hesse used to be my puppy tank. Stuck 3, good. Panda 4, mm, I liked it. I don't know why everyone else thinks it's bad. I, I, I personally really like this tank. Um, you just gotta imagine it's an E25 with shitty speed, but a tier lower. Yak Panda, um, fantastic tank, but um, I didn't enjoy it as much as I did on the Yak Panda 2, because Yak Panda 2 is the most overpowered piece of Tech Destroyer ever in tier 8. Um, now, is that all more overpowered than the Borsig? Maybe not.
But the Jack Panda 2 certainly has reasons why it is as good as the Borsig. We'll come on to that later. The Yak Tiger, as I said in the garage here, so I'm gonna skip them too. I certainly think this line is the best line, most fun line to to grind. This line, I really enjoyed the um, the Borsig and the Waffen Trigger's Panda 4, and they were just pretty easy grinds. So even if I didn't really like them, they weren't really that bad. So it wasn't such a pain, and they just did so much damage, so you get so much XP so easily. But I do like the the German lines, they were pretty good. So, uh, the reason I didn't really want to grind the Leopard 1 was because, um, well, the STB 1 came out later and it was always better than the Leopard 1 in most people's mind. So, yeah, I just saw at first when it first came out, the Leopard 1 seems like it was awesome, but now every single patch the the new tier 10 that comes out is awesome even better so yeah that's a reason why i didn't quite like it the british line i think this is the worst country line don't don't think it's not anything biased but i really don't like the british line the matilda's op but that's pretty much it uh the the, the covenanter was pretty shit unless you fire gold uh the crusaders piece with turd and Cromwell was good, but I I didn't really like it because it, you just get penned so easily. So Comet, I do know why people like it. So I I can say they were good, but for me they're not the tanks that tick. So depend on how you play it. Centurion, I have, I can't bother to get it because look at the shitty modules I gotta get before I fully upgrade this shit. So I decided to not really go for it yet. The British TD line is one of the worst TD line I've ever grinded. Um, I just skipped all of them, got the 82 which was OP, 88 just stopped the shit out of me, like, that was so bad, that line was so bad, so, I decided not go for more pain since, um, I don't really like British tanks that much, so yeah, I, I decided not to grind the British TD line because it's so horribly slow and I don't like slow tanks. The same goes with the British Heavy. I don't get the point why I should grind the British Heavy if I got more other country tank to grind. Like for example the Americans, I still haven't got tier 10s on them. And also, I, don't, I just don't think they were really good. Although some of them are good, but certainly not enough for me to spend all that time grinding the pain out of it. I didn't really like the FV 304 like, you know, it was advertised because of the rate of fire and how accurate it was. I felt like most of the time for me the the gun barely did any damage. Uh, but I still have to say it's a really good tank, but now they nerfed it so I don't see the whole point of grinding the British RT line anymore and I stopped and I don't play artillery anymore. The Birch gun is a piece of turd, the Lex Sexton 2 was a piece of turd, the Lloyd gun carry is a piece of turd, so yeah. Just never grind the British RT line unless you really want the tier 10. Um, now the Shafi line was horrid when I was grinding the M5 Stuart, but now the T37 and the Walker Bulldog and also the T49 makes it all worthwhile getting it. Now I've got the T20, T69 T now, uh, well I haven't got it now but I unlocked it. But I heard it's pretty piece of crap, the gun got like shitty penetration so uh, we'll see how that happens. And let's have another look at the other ones. I stopped on that tank T25 too. Uh, it's not bad tank, but um, it's certainly not a TD. You just play it as a medium, like they said. Uh, T20 prototype. I heard it's a piece of turd, so I'm not. I'm never gonna grind that thing. And also, I don't want to get the E4 because there's a lot more TDs I could get, which is much more overpowered. Waffen trigger E100 as an example. So I'm not in a hurry to grind the American. TD line and certainly not that third line. I just don't like slowness to be honest. T twenty eight, T ninety five, T one one E four, E three is horrid. So yeah, I don't don't I don't want to get them. Although they're good in some ways. Uh, the the medium line is uh, pretty interesting to grind, but I didn't really like it enough. Especially when I heard the pattern is shit. It's the shittiest medium in tier ten. So. I decided to not get it, and since I got the Object 140, I'm happy with it. The pattern is uh, pretty... I don't know, I haven't played it, so yeah, I can't judge it. But they aren't bad, but they're not, you know, glaringly good. The heavy tank line, uh, I kind of like... I, I didn't like the Lee. 
I like the T1. I, like, I didn't like the M6 much because it, it had paper armor. And um, T29 was a beast. T32 was a beast. Uh, tier 4 tier, I felt like T29 is better, but I had more fun playing the T32 because that turret is much more awesome. Uh, but then it has a shitty gun, so you gotta load APCR sometimes, but I don't know why, but I, I like them both. I like them both, and I don't think the T32 is that much worse than the T29. M103, I haven't got it because look at the grind on this thing, so decided to not go for it yet. I'll wait until. I get some other tank, so um, we'll see. Um, the Russian line TD is awesome. You gotta get it. It's so awesome. So yeah, grand the Russian TD line. You won't regret it. But I regretted it when I got the tier nine because I don't want the object two six eight. I don't quite like it. So let's see who's contacting me. Uh, sup. So um. Light tanks is for shit. The A20 is the piece of turd I've ever played. T32, T34 is awesome. T34, uh, 85 is beast. T43 is average. Uh, not that bad, but T44, uh, people say it's bad, but I, I like it. I, I do like it. And I did think it was really good. Um, and I got Radley Walton, like Steel Walton, shit like that in one game, which you could watch as well. T54, as I mentioned, one of the most OP -ish shit ever. Um, now it's so OP that you actually get the chance to unlock two really good tier 10 tanks. So yeah, wh why not grind this line when you can have the chance to play one of the most OP tanks to unlock two tanks. So yeah, grind this line. This line is my most recommended line probably in the game. Uh, although you got that kind of stuff on the A20. Now this line, I, I like this line a lot. KV1 was awesome. KV2 is awesome. T150 is Okay, KV1S used to be overpowered as crap. Um, now it's the KV85, and I haven't driven it, so yeah, I don't know about it. KV3, uh, surprisingly, I got quite good stats in this, but I didn't like it that much. Uh, KV4, I stopped grinding it because uh, look at this shitty grind. If I didn't grind the Russian line, I would be looking at one of the worst grinding game. But this line is my line. I really like this line. The only bad tank in this line is probably the IS-8, although it is not considered bad. It's just below the standard of the Soviet Union because it's got shitty armor. But it's still a pretty good tank. You can see the review on that as well. Um, but I don't recommend you to grind this line before grinding this. You could grind this after you grinded this, but I'm not in a hurry since I like the IS-7, so yeah. The the KV2 S51 is beast, beast, and this one I don't play artillery, so I stopped at the S SU142. Uh, the Churchill's awesome, Churchill 3. I I had it and I sold it for some stupid reason. So yeah, Japanese line I barely started it, and I don't want to grind it because, to be honest, I, I'm not a big fan of Japanese tanks. Um, so yeah, we we'll see you next time. And oh yeah, let me just show you stats for those of you who want to know. So yeah, you could check it out on anyway. You can see my top stats is not achieved on Tiger 1, maximum kills 11, average wolf 1139, which is increasing day after day, which is nice because I'm actually playing higher tier tanks now. Um, tier for tier, you can see th they're all blue and green, so yeah. Uh, but you can see I did pretty shit in the stir emil because it's a shit tank. Uh, although when you get the top gun, it's, it's not as shit as it is when the stock um, back in the day when I was noob I, I got this tank and I sold it that was like the worst decision for a while um, but you can see the tanks which I tried hard and especially I got after I, I got just let's just count the tanks I got after tier 8 and their stats are pretty awesome as well although um, you can see the, the win ratios are pretty good I'm playing solo at the moment so yeah um, if you like to ask me any question about what tier or whatever you want to grind, ask me indeed. So yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. So I've decided that, you know, I've showed you my account already. Now it's time for me to show you how I play. And um, I got a request from a subscriber, new subscriber. He said that...
he would like to see what do I think at each point of the game. So I'm gonna hopefully explain to you how I, what I think throughout the game. Now, um, when it's loading, of course, now you can see that my team is okay. There's a few only tier seven, so wouldn't kill necessarily kill my game. Now, when I'm recording, I only get about 30 FPS, so that's gonna limit uh, my play. So let's see how it goes. Anyway, first time. Actually, this is second time I've actually been recording and playing live. So tell me what you think because live games really tell you how I actually play and um, in the upcoming live streams I'm gonna do in Christmas time uh, it's probably a good practice to see how many of you actually want to see uh, live so the difference between my stream and other people's stream is that I'm actually gonna make sure that I actually tell you what I'm thinking at each time so here I'm thinking that uh, the first bit of damage is coming from of course the enemy crossing the the middle so therefore it's time for me to take advantage of them coming um, from the enemy base into the oh that gun depression the, oh bounce okay that was bad now but you see how the positioning really makes sure that you get the first bit of damage and look at this <laughs> gun depression work. You really gotta work your gun depression. Um, it's pretty hard to do that but you have to learn so yeah good learning curve. We'll probably show you how to do this and um, good practice basically. So I decided that now it's time for me to relocate because I don't think there's gonna be any more damage here and there and it seems like on the left it's kinda yeah there's a uh, there is a FV there which I should go and help out with or would he be dead before I get there we'll see um, nah I won't get there in time object will get there so yeah no damage for me pretty bad the first shot there now I don't wanna stay around here because Normally artillery will be looking here and also what's the point of me taking this positioning afterwards because look at that T30 I'm not gonna do shit all when I see him so therefore I'm deciding that I should move around move away and uh, do damage elsewhere look at this engine speed difference between 140 and 121 quite a big difference there now I see that in the center of the map there's the, um, the Yegru so um, He's dead, and uh, you gotta keep looking at the map. That's why I'm constantly seeing. And trust me, in the beginning of the game, you never drive along this road here. You always drive the long way around because otherwise, if you get spotted, you're just gonna get pinned down dead. And you see people like me go in the middle in the beginning to get the first bit of damage out. Now it's time to analyze the positioning of different players. So it seems like the guy I'm gonna take on is the T54, and so let's get ready and take him out. Oh, no shot there. Careful, careful as I come around here. He's he's dead, but he's got a little friend. This f low frame per second is kind of killing me. Yeah, it's killing me at the moment. Uh, this the screen is kind of laggy-ish. Yeah, it's it's bad. So I've only done one bit of damage, and it was an extremely low roll. So who was down there then? I think it was an IS4. Um. Okay, so it seems like there's someone there. Uh, the only way I can probably pen him is through the lower plate there. And yeah, connected that lower plate round. Seems like he, he got pinned there by his by a tracking shot. So I fire again, but he's behind the rock. Okay, so... Mm. Oh, that bounced. Okay, never mind that. Uh, it's time to move on and... Um, What's the next bit of thing I gotta do? Oh my god, did you see how I bounced that shot? Suppose I aimed a bit too high there. Super structure. Come on, that goes, that's gotta go in. Yep. And uh, is it time to rape the 140? Yes, I think so. Um, so, get the zoom ready. 
Staps one shot into him. Watch where I'm going. Gotta back up. And go the armor. So I uh, tease him out. And, oh, doesn't get enough time to nail him. Um, another object for 30 coming, but it seems like our oh, 140 has got him. So it's time for me to flank him. And he's calling help, so I should, I suppose, I should dig myself in and uh, exterminate him. No shot off there. Got spotted. Got to get into cover. Now, from the last no location of people, it seems like I could. I gotta be careful here. Enemy artillery will be looking here, so gotta keep moving. You never wanna get artillery. So you gotta look, analyze the team in the beginning, and look at all the sort of people that's gonna get you. Pre-aim, he's not there. Waffen trigger E100 in our base. Uh, the two Jaegerus camping in the corner of the map, not really doing much. I'm scared that there's gonna be TDs, but okay, that TD spotted down there. So it seems like I could. I could. Oh. Fuck this lag, this low frame per second is killing me. Mm. I'm kinda like, where should I go? Seems like... I, I should help them out, but... This 430 is a good player. He's a uh, unicorn. So I gotta be careful. Oh, he's relocated it. So it's time to just go around all of them and kill them so yeah this is not a good game by far but um, hopefully you like the way I, I do the talking so like in a live stream you would learn a lot um, now aim for the wheels but I, I miss it and catch his engine so yeah pretty nice result there and let him burn to death now it's not only a problem with the artillery I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get the artillery kill uh, the all object goes thanks, but um, <laughs> blames E100 for coming in too late. But um, to be honest, I could have helped him out earlier, but uh, I didn't. So my fault. And uh, this game is 3,000 damage, and uh, suppose this would be 3,000 or 4,000 win eight. I think this game. Uh, we check after. Um, you can see how in the beginning I got into the first location, but this time we weren't lucky to catch the IS-4 there. And, uh... we we'll see what happens now. I shouldn't go in the cab, but... Suppose... I'm not scared of artillery anymore, and artillery's gonna get nailed, so I don't get the artillery kill, so... Uh, this game's, um, pretty damn... Okay, it's not the worst game I've ever played, but it's not the best. Um... So hopefully you, like, as I talk about stuff, you could learn a lot. And, um, you know, third class, not that bad. Whew. Came at least top four, so yeah. Not too bad. And uh, that was 3,000 win 8 there. So, um, if you want to see more live gameplay where I actually talk about how I think about stuff, um, I suggest that, uh, tell me if you want if you would like to check out my live stream and I will live stream in Christmas time at Christmas time uh, so we'll see you next time then uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you learned something and um, so I have to say thank you again